Hi and welcome to this week's Reset. Today is Palm Sunday, so we focus and we celebrate on the uh, triumphant entry of Jesus into the gates of Jerusalem that week. But as we know, as we've said before, and as we know the story, that a turn of events will happen very quickly throughout the week. The Last Supper, the arrest, the conviction, the journey to the cross, and then ultimately, praise God, hallelujah, the resurrection of Jesus. I would like you to do a, um, an exercise with me. And if you're able, hopefully you're not driving. <laughs> if you are, don't do this, just uh, think it. But if you're able, I want you to close your eyes. And I'm going to describe, or I'm going to utter a, um, something for you to visualize. And I want you to think what comes into your mind when I say this. So relax and take a breath and visualize these. First thing I want you to think about is a tree. So you have that in your mind? Okay, second, I want you to visualize a dog. Got it? All right, the next thing I want you to visualize is a building. All right, and one more thing. I want you to visualize Jesus. So what did you see? What did you visualize when I said a tree? Was it a little sapling? Was it a large oak? Was it a barren tree in the winter or was it a beautiful tree in the fall? And then a dog. Was it, was it a pug? Was it a chihuahua? Was it, um, was it a mastiff? And then a building. Was it a house? Was it a high rise? Was it a hotel? And then lastly, and more importantly, Jesus. What did you visualize with him? Was it the newborn Jesus that we reflect on at Christmas? Was it the young Jesus in the temple? Was it the resurrected Jesus all in white? Or was it Jesus on the cross? This past Sunday, uh, Pastor Stacy talked about that very thing. And she brought up the fact that um, what sometimes we want to see Jesus, but what Jesus do we want to see? And I have to be honest with you, I'm, I'm just going to tell the truth. There is a movie. Um, it's not an overly Christian-themed movie. As a matter of fact, not at all. It's called Talladega Nights. And uh, it has Will Ferrell and some other well-known actors in it. And there's a scene where they're saying grace at the table. And once again, I'm not condoning that you watch it. That's on your own conscience, but there's, it's pretty inappropriate. But that popped into my head because I've seen the movie before. And Will Ferrell's talking about the, the infant baby Jesus and he even refers to being in golden diapers and things of that sort. And then there starts to be this discussion around the table about, hey, Jesus was a man, he had a beard. Jesus was a person. Jesus grew up. Well, Will Ferrell wasn't having any of that. It was, uh, I'm going to pray to the baby infant Jesus because that's the Jesus that I'm most comfortable with. But it really started me thinking about the scene in Talladega Nights and the fact that we visualize, it could be depending on our circumstances, it could be depending on just what we grew up with or what our first impressions were of Jesus as a Christian. It was really quite profound as each of them went through and said, well, this is how I like to, to visualize the Son of God. 
it really got me thinking and I started thinking, you know, even though this is a weird, comedic, inappropriate scene, it really reflects on some of us and sometimes in our situations when we're crying out to him and, and, and things aren't quite what they seem to be and that we want Jesus to, to rescue us or we want Jesus to deliver us or we want to thank him for things that are going good and then sometimes when it's great we're not visualizing Jesus at all. But the point that I'm trying to make today is this. If we look at the Christmas Jesus, he brought hope into the world. If we look at Jesus' life as he grew up and as he did his three-year ministry, we look at peace, one that brings the very forefront and thoughts of God into view. We also look at the Jesus of sacrifice and then we also look at Jesus as the true triumphant King. So what's really important to know about Jesus and why we cling to him so dearly is Jesus, because of who he is and who God profounded him to be, is the fact that Jesus is all things to all people. So as we go through this Passion Week, we celebrate today Palm Sunday, remembering that Jesus made no criteria to who could come to him. Jesus made no boundaries as far as his abilities, whether it's bringing hope, peace, faith, or joy into our lives. Jesus delivered. Jesus was there for us. So thanks for joining Reset today, and I hope that you just take this week to reflect on the Jesus that you envision, and maybe go even beyond that. Thanks for watching. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall.
We're singing for the glory of the risen.